Hello YouTube community and welcome to my channel Takis on Tour. Before we start, I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel and never miss any of my future videos. Subscribing doesn't hurt, it's free and it helps me with my work. But for now, have fun with today's video. As you can see, I'm in the hospital right now, so today's video will be different than usual. I'm going to tell you the whole story, and I'm going to show you pictures that I took when I was able to move around a little bit. In this video I will summarize 5 days. Later on you will understand why. Today and the following 4 days I was forced to stay in Bule Lang. But before I continue, here is my little intro. I checked into this hotel in the afternoon, it had already started to rain, but that was not what I was expecting. It must have rained for two hours, luckily I had already checked in and brought my clothes to the room. I planned to stay here for two days and then go to the ferry and take the ferry to the next island. In the evening, when it finally stopped raining, I went out to get something to eat. I walked down the street and couldn't find anything I liked. After a while I crossed the street and then it happened. As I was about to cross the street and was already standing on the median, a wild horde of cars and mopeds came from both sides, as is common in Indonesia. One of them hit me from the side with full force and threw me into the air so that I fell onto the asphalt. I don't remember anything after that. When I came to, my memory was back, I was sitting in a roadside restaurant somewhere. The young woman who was selling there gave me something to drink, and a young man who had apparently picked me up off the street later took me to my hotel. I heard all over and could not sleep. All night long I was more or less on the toilet throwing up. Every five minutes I was on the toilet emptying my stomach. When I was lying in bed, I saw the ceiling spinning like a merry-go-round. It was very hard for me to get up and go to the bathroom to empty my stomach again. At first I thought maybe it would subside overnight and everything would be back to normal the next morning but nothing of the sort. In the morning I did some quick research to see where there was a hospital around here, luckily it was only a few feet from the hotel. I walked there as best I could and was examined immediately. Fortunately, it turned out that nothing was broken. The doctor who examined me told me that I had a moderate concussion and that it was normal for what I had experienced the night before. I spent the rest of the day in my room because I couldn't walk because of my hip. Riding a motorcycle was also out of the question. In the evening I went to the hotel restaurant and had something to eat. Last night I slept a little, I walked around a bit. It was hard to walk, but sitting in the hotel is not my thing either. I couldn't ride the bike, my hip hurt too much. I also had a huge bump on my head, I didn't try, but I don't think I could put a helmet on either. The next morning I felt a bit better. Although I was still suffering from dizziness and nausea, the pain in my hip had become more bearable. I slowly walked down the road to the beach. It was very early and hardly anyone was out. The air smelled of salt and the first rays of sunlight bathed the beach in a warm light. I sat down on the sand and looked out to sea. The calm waves and the endless ocean gave me a feeling of freedom. Suddenly I felt how much I missed travel and adventure. But in my condition, I couldn't think of traveling any further for the time being. Sighing, I got up and went back to the hotel. The friendly receptionist inquired about my condition and offered to call a doctor. But I refused, I wanted to rest. When I got to my room, my eyes fell on my travel journal on the table. It had been a long time since I had written in it. I sat down, grabbed my pen, and began to write down everything that had happened in the last few days. Writing was good for me. It helped me process what I had experienced. Over the next few days I slowly recovered. The pain subsided and I was able to walk short distances again, which is where these photos were taken. I loved just walking around and photographing life without attracting attention. After four days I felt ready to travel again.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, I would appreciate a subscription and a thumbs up. Otherwise, feel free to give me feedback in the comments on what I can do better next time. In any case, have a great day, take care and see you soon.